What's up guys, it's your boy Stoop, and welcome back to Rank 101, turning noobs to pros since 2020. Now before we get into today's video, I just want to point out something. I got copyright claimed on my last video because they included music in their demo. Don't add music because it'll get copyright claimed. Just so we're clear. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at a player called Vision Does YouTube. His rank is a silver four and he is on the map bureau. All right, and as you can see, this guy right here, Al, he's he's great. He's he's given me timestamps of each individual thing that he notices while I also go in and notice things myself. So I'll be referring to this. I'll be doing my thing on here. So thank you, Al. I appreciate what you're doing. He also has another one that is also done, which I also think has music in it. So yeah. No music. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the first round. I also muted it because his uh, recording isn't good. Okay, so he comes around this corner and he looks at this player. It does get a hit on him, but it doesn't really hit that well. Uh, what I noticed here is as he jumped around this corner, he jumped and he, there's this player right here. You don't want to jump around corners because it'll make you extremely inaccurate, as you can see here. He does get a couple shots in, but he d it doesn't hit anything. What I would recommend is I would recommend resetting yourself. So it's essentially what you do is you let go of the fire button because what I think you're doing here is you're holding down the fire button while you're shooting the pistol. It's good, but tapping it is actually a lot faster and it's more accurate. If you let go of the fire button, then reset, your recoil is going to reset as well. You'll be able to hit a lot more shots. I do that all the time. I end up missing a lot of shots. Anyways... Moving on, so you got a couple of guys in servers. You got a guy sitting here with the revolver. He ends up going down. What I'm thinking is that you probably didn't notice him right off the bat. Your crosshair placement isn't really that good because, yeah, there will be players here, but you peek out really wide and really dry. Uh, and you don't have your crosshairs in these corners because players will be in these corners camping because there is a dip down in here next to the stairs where they can hide and crouch and get good shots off you and it's a hard place to hit them from so you just come around this corner hardly change it at all you do see him right here and you just completely go past him so you gotta make sure you check everything so check here check here check here and then check behind the other servers and then just make sure you check everything i should make videos i actually have videos for common places where people would sit at on different maps but i stopped that series because it was more for positioning purposes but i'm gonna th i think i'm gonna start that back up just so that way you guys know the common places that players would commonly sit on the maps anyways on to the next round all right so what he does here he has fourteen hundred dollars so you would probably want to save here and you look right here better not to buy anything or buy something like the nr96 for the one shot potential and two three body shot kill that is correct you could buy an mr96 or nothing at all so that way you can have money into the next round where you can force buy but here he buys the mp4 as you saw mp not mp4 the m there's no such thing as an mp4 except well obviously this video of course the mp5 it's not very accurate unless <coughs> This video comes out before the up, the uh, update. And also right here, you got to make sure you have your crosshair up at headshot level. So that way you have yourself ready in case players come around corners, which I believe happens right here. So you got one guy coming through here. You got one guy going into B-site and you got another guy in orange as well. And you try to take on all three of them at the same time. Uh, your first mistake was right here. Hang on, let me unmute it real quick, so that way, if I can hear anything. Yeah, the audio is messed up. I'm not sure how you recorded the audio. If it was like a microphone or something. Right here, you saw him. You should have backed up, and you should have started shooting at him. Because at the same time, he would have been coming out. You would have had him down, and you would have swapped over to him and killed him as well. It's, that's just... When you buy an mp5 like that but you end up going down to this guy that was in the hole as well because you overextended yourself into enemy territory because they already had this spot on lockdown you already had the guy in 
B. Hall. He had two guys in CT Orange. Yeah, it's it's rough. But as the coalition, you don't really want to be rushing anybody. You just want to make sure you're going in the bomb sites and holding the angles that you think they're going to be coming from. Also, while sounding. Next round only has two thousand dollars. He buys the vector and a grenade. What does Al have to say about this one? Doesn't save. Yeah, I agree. He sh well. All right, I see what you're saying. So the only way you can actually force buy anything is if you have enough money for a vector and for the armor, which is, I think, $2,500. And he only had 2000 He was 500 short. So he could buy armor and another pistol to get those quick kills in. But either way, you could you probably just save again and then buy up on the third round. All right, so you saw there. You get two guys in mid right here. They took the guy down from... Uh, B Hall, and he's gonna come through here. They're still in there. He's gonna wait. That's good. It's very good right there. He's gonna wait for him to come out, but he ends up jumping in the way of this guy who went around. So he saw him from the corner of his eye, I think, right there. Jumps, and then he ends up getting killed. Don't try and jump around enemies because it makes you an easier target to hit because you're only have one direction you're going and that's the direction you're jumping so don't jump around enemies all right third round he's got three thousand dollars he's gonna buy the m4 that is not a good buy you want to buy something that's more cheap that's cheaper so you can buy armor and a few grenades if you can but this guy just goes and buys an m4 with no armor he's had no armor for the past past three rounds and what you should have bought was the vector and armor. The vector and armor cost the same amount as an MP as an M4 currently right now until the update hits. So you would have had enough to buy a smoke grenade and a flashbang or frag and flashbang, however you play. Honestly, you just, you just got to work on when to buy things. So if you don't have enough to get an AR, then go of an SMG and armor. Or if you can't afford an SMG with armor, then just don't buy anything or buy a pistol that can get you kills. Flashbang? Ah, uh, so Al says here he wastes that flash to take map control with the flash. I can see where he's coming from. Because that flash doesn't really do anything. The only way you can use that flash is if you run up to here and throw it at an angle into CD Orange so it bounces off the wall and next to that... Uh, support wall that's blocking off jungle that way they could be deterred from going into uh breach orange and you could push out to here and hold this angle into orange and say so you just turn around you're gonna go to b all right so saw there this guy this guy goes into b site he's got two players in Orange connector here. He goes down. So you got a play, couple players right here. They could go to either B hall or around ramp. And there is one player ramp. You do good there. And you end up going down to the guy that's behind him. I think right here you started to panic fire because you were really spraying, really trying to spray him down. You saw him started shooting before you were even on him and then you just crouch and peek out from behind servers if you so there was two guys there you got one but the other guy was staying behind just in case there was someone trying to come and kill your kill their teammate which you did so if you do kill someone don't push out if there's more than one player there because you will most likely die right here he has zero dollars and he had bought an ak-47 for that same amount of money, you could have had the vector, armor, and a flashbang. So, I'm seeing that you need to work on your purchasing habits. Let's see what Al has to say about that. Same mistake of bias. Okay, good. Glad we got the same idea. All right, good. You got him from Intel. Got one more. Uh, you reloaded at 14 ammo. You would have had plenty to take this guy down. Also, your crosshair is pointed low, so you're not going to get any good shots on him. You're just going to be shooting his feet. 
and you got caught in a crossfire with your teammate. Honestly, I would not crouch there because you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So I would probably not have peeked out that far because you're at a complete disadvantage. If anything, I would hold this angle right here back further from inside Intel, hold this angle so that way if he sees you, you can start shooting at him and he has to hide behind this wall or go just go into B-site. That way you could follow him in there and take him out. All right, so this round, he has enough to buy armor and an AK-47, which he buys the AK. No, he buys, he buys, what does he buy? I can't tell through all those pixels. He buys the AUG. Why the hell would anyone buy the AUG, especially if they're down 0-5? That's just, that's just not a good buy. Not a good buy at all. The AUG is a situational weapon. It, it's not a one-tap like the HK-417 or the AK-47 or the SG-551. Uh, it's, it's a glorified M4. That's essentially what it is. And you could have had an AK-47 and armor and no problems, but instead you went and bought the AUG. Your problem is that you buy the most expensive weapon you can. That is not a good idea. You don't want to buy the most expensive weapon because usually the most expensive weapon you can buy is not the best weapon. There is a better weapon that is either cheaper or you can combine things like armor and another weapon to give you maximum damage output. You, sir, are terrible at decision making. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just, you just buy stupid things. Okay, that's good. You take your knife, you take your AUG out when you get to servers. You get flashed. You should have your crosshair up higher when you're peeking into banana. But you should have it at this level right here or around this level in case someone tries to peek out, peeks out like that. And you just... And he's, he's, cr he's crab walking out. So you should have seen him right here. It takes him a full second to start shooting at you. You would have had your crosshair on him already and you would have had him down with your AUG. But you didn't notice him right away. And you notice him right here. You should have just backed up a little bit and wait for him to push you because you want them to be the aggressor, not you. Because you'll have a better advantage if they're aggressing, if they're being aggressive and pushing you when you're holding an angle, standing still, and you know they're coming at you. But instead, you peek out with him and you just go down. All right. Next round, he picked up an 8K47, and he's going to buy full. That's good buy, and he buys a GSR. Not really necessary, but it's all, it's it's kind of an okay buy, especially if you run out of ammo, which you shouldn't really run out of ammo before the round is over, unless you're really bad at ammo management. All right, so you got two outside. Just smoke off the entrance. Good idea. All right, got the one guy at the entrance. You saw him. You push up, and you're gonna die to him. Again, with peeking and holding angles, if you see an enemy player and they don't do anything right away, just hold an angle. If you're not quick enough, or if you are quick enough, then just go ahead and hit them down before they can do any damage to you. But most likely, they would do damage to you. So just hold angles. And you'll be fine. All right. We're at the second half. Seven to one. They're losing. He's bought armor, which is a good buy. You absorb more damage. They're all going to go D long. Does my buddy Owl have anything to say? Okay. This one's talking about the flash. I already discussed that. So... They're all outside B. There's one guy on B site. There's two, there's one, there's two in orange. He gets a good headshot. That's pretty good. He's just going around peeking everywhere. He's not really aiming at anything. Rush them, cowards. <laughs> yeah, rush them. Yeah. Honestly, you shouldn't really listen to your teammates because sometimes they might be toxic. You had all five players. Outside, 
the entrance. You could have just stormed in, taken them out. You would have had a couple guys probably go down, but that would have been fine because you would have taken them all out anyways. The first one you probably should have gotten is the guy on B site right there. You all should have gotten him down, and you all worked your way around into B site, check orange, see if there's anyone there, which there was. There's two in there. And then you would have had that guy probably go down, but the rest of you would have had the guys in there already. And then you all would have seen the guy coming in from B Long or B Hall, and you've taken him out, and then you've had the bomb planted by then. And they ended up winning. <laughs> yeah, they had a great comeback, man. It's a real great comeback. Good comeback, dude. Good comeback. So, what have we learned? Uh, make sure you don't buy stupidly. Make sure you know what to buy and what you can buy with the amount of money you earn from each round. What he did is he ended up buying the most expensive weapon he could buy. That's not a good idea. You want to buy a combination of either an SMG or AR, armor, and grenades if you can. If you can't, then settle for an SMG and armor. If you can't buy that, then don't buy anything or buy a pistol. More specifically, the GSR or the MR96. But, anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys learned something today. So, to those of you who decided to stick around and watch this video, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see any other content that I put online, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and stay safe. And shut up! Bye-bye.